All right, sorry. Bear with me. This is probably a bad idea. So, I've decided that anything that I decide to make that is sort of like a bad idea burrito, right? Because it's a bad idea wrapped inside another bad idea. So, I'm gonna call these videos bad idea burritos. So, if you say, if I say this is a bad idea burrito, I don't expect you to follow along because we're going places that maybe we shouldn't go. So I, I've been wanting to make this thing for quite some time now and I really, I just, I don't know how to introduce it um, because it's, it's a bad idea. <laughs> so maybe I'll just, alright, alright. Any of you have like a really special friend that you have a really weird bond with, like you know, you guys are just weird together. I have to, I'm, I'm gonna make a present for my weird friend and it's gonna be weird. So I probably should explain what we're doing before we start because y'all are gonna be like the whole time. So essentially one day we were recovering from a hangover and I was trying, I don't know whether I was trying to boost her confidence or express my undying love. I can't remember. Maybe it was both. I'm not sure. But I decided in my hungover brain to present her with a Nobel Peace Prize for breathing. Because I feel like everybody just sort of needs one of those. Just like a thank you for being alive and talking to me with your face, enjoying my company, me enjoying yours. And I thought that was hilarious. And so did she. And we both laughed about it for quite some time. Because the Nobel Peace Prize for breathing is actually made out of air. So it's invisible. It's an invisible Nobel Peace Prize. And I thought it would be pretty funny if I made one out of clear things. So it's sort of invisible, but not quite. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know this is a little weird, and I don't know how we're gonna get there, and I don't know if we will, but please, please join me on this adventure into crazy town. And bad ideas. Okay. Because I am making this up as I go along, um, I've decided that I'm gonna try and make the award out of laminate because I have laminate and that's, you know, the thing that I have. So I'm using that. Right, so I looked up um, the Nobel Peace Prize um, because I wanted to know why it wasn't spelled like, I thought it was like noble, like a nobleman, and it's not. It's named after a guy called Noble, and it's about smart people and people generally making the world a better place. And I was like, I can't make fun of this. <laughs> I'm a bad person if I make fun of this. So I changed the spelling to noble as in noble person. So I'm not making fun of the Nobel Peace Prize because those people are awesome and I don't want to do that. So I've changed the spelling to like noble as a noble person because yes, she is noble. She's great for breathing. So uh, yeah. Just printed out um, the words that I wanted to use from Photoshop and I've arched the top. Of these words are all arching this way which is really cool but then I looked at them and I was like the bottom one should probably arch the other way so I printed out these ones which is more accurate for like curving around the cup 
So I've got a bit of double sided tape, so I'm going to stick these down so they don't fly off my table. I want to make a plug to sit the name on because I'm going to do that probably a lot thicker, so I need a bit more plastic underneath it. And I also just think it would be cooler if there was like multi layered bits of plastic going on. Okay, I've just had a thought, right? I will laminate a sheet of laminate, cut out the design, stick on the piece that I want raised up, and then laminate it again. It's totally gonna work, guys. It's totally gonna work. First sheet of laminate. So exciting, this is gonna be so exciting. This is very transparent. So, um, this is going to be interesting to, to work on. It's so hard to see. So, I'm going to stick this to my template that I made with some blue tack, and then I'm going to cut it out. I am going to tidy it up a little bit. I think I only have problems with the handle because I broke it. Um, but everything else looks not too bad, actually, considering it's very difficult to see. Guys, I may have underestimated how difficult it's going to be working on something that's transparent. <laughs> uh... Alright, so I made another sheet so I can cut out this bit to stick it on top to make it a little higher. I think I'm going to make several bits to this so it's raised up at least twice as high. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got, twice as high. <gasps> Win. Winning. So I put the plastic back on top of the design so I could line up where the plaque has to sit. So now all I have to do is try and get this into a plastic sleeve without moving this top piece. Can you see it? <laughs> You can't see it at all. You can see this though. I think that turned out pretty good. Um, so I'm going to cut it out again. It's sort of like a ghost trophy at the moment more than one that's made out of air. But like, I mean, I'm not mad. So I'm going to make another layer because I want to do the words like engraved. So I need like a fair bit of plastic so I don't like bang holes in it. Um, so I'm going to do another layer over the cup bit and around the handles to give them a little bit of a shape in here and here. And then I'm going to laminate it all again. So I'm going to um, use a sharpie to draw where I want to cut and like just have the sharpie on the outside so it's not you know visible once I'm done. So I just draw it on top of it um, and I've cut in where I want the handles to like set back a little. So this will look visually more forward. So I made a little piece of fur across the bottom to make it look like the base is a little forward. Um, I've got Sharpie on it. So I've got some acetone to get the Sharpie off so it's as clear as perfectly humanly possible. Okay, so I put a whole bunch of like random bits in a clear plastic sleeve to laminate just to, so I can use these as the test pieces for when I'm going to start like writing things because um, I didn't want to do it straight up on the trophy because I don't want to wreck it at this point. So this layer didn't work as well as you can see it's really foggy and it happened. There's hair in it. <laughs> like a big piece of hair and I'm just like oh I thought I checked it why okay so I'm gonna try and like dig out that little hair as carefully as I can because it's totally in the way 
So I have made a little hole. Um, I got most of the hair out. There's a little tiny bit left. I'm like, I can't without destroying everything. So I'm gonna run it through the um, the heat again, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've run it through like a whole bunch of times now. Um, I think this is the maximum levels of um, laminate you can do in one go, from from what I can see. I'm thinking, I'm like, I could iron it? Cause like, I mean, the fogginess is like not terrible. Cause it is mostly in the center where I want to do some writing. So, and you can barely see the hole that I made at the back, which is pretty rad. So it is much foggier now. We have a few little bubbly things that have happened. And I think that's just because I maybe did it too many times. I'm gonna cut it out again. So it's not perfect, but I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm still contemplating whether I should get my iron out and just like, all right, so I don't want to do this, but I'm doing this. Got my $5 iron, because I love ironing. I've got some baking paper sandwiching between the trophy so I don't melt it to the ironing board. Um, and it's nearly completely invisible at this point on this fabric, so this is gonna be a little tricky. So I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on this. And we're back. Um, I don't know if that improved things a terrible a lot. Um, it helped a little, I think. Now it's time to decorate. Okay, so I've hooked up my rotary tool. Um, I've got diamond tip in here, which is honestly overkill, but um, I don't have anything else to use. So that's what it is. Hopefully I don't doubt gouge holes in what I'm working on. That's why I'm gonna do a test. Um, I've got my safety goggles and my safety mask so I don't breathe in particles of laminate. You know this is gonna be good, right? Screw it, I'm just gonna go nuts. I'm gonna do lots of decoration. This is a blue tacked to the wall. I love it. It is so weird. Like, we just come back a little. It's just like, in real life, the camera's actually picking up like a fair bit of it, but like in real life, it's just like really ambiguous and it's just like a shadow. It's so good. <laughs> So I'm thinking, I don't know whether she's gonna hang it up or she's just gonna be like, Rebecca, you're, you're, you're a weird person, stop that. But I feel like I should give her the option to hang this up if she wants to. So let's just, like, I mean, I'm being extra already. Let's be super extra and give her a way to hang it up. So I've got my like biggest spit, split rings. So I'm gonna put these um, up in the corners and then I'm gonna attach some chain. So she can hang it if she wants. I hope she does. I think that'd be great. So this is it hanging on the wall on the chain. Blowing in the breeze. So uh I think the chain looks cute. It's so weird. <laughs> this, I visualized this a lot smaller. I, I, it's really big. <laughs> um, this was so much fun to make. Like, I mean, I didn't even like, I'm like doing all this weird stuff and I'm just having such a good time being weird. <laughs> I hope uh, Kenneth likes her Nobel Peace Prize for breathing. Um, or at least laughs a little bit. Um, <laughs> please let me know if you guys make one of these or like attempt to make something like transparent because I mean I had more fun making this than was strictly necessary. I'm like screwing stuff up 
and ironing things and I'm just like this is great <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed watching me make this and um, I will see you guys next time bye <laughs>